Hello everyone on YouTube, all of my sweet children. The father of the Tekken community is back and I'm gonna do a commentary now on a match that was played yesterday. It's Europe East, EVO. They divided Europe into East. Uh, so you had Russian players there. This is for example, Russia versus Poland. And then you had uh, West where in the grand finals, I don't want to spoil it, but you have players, you know, like Super Akuma, La France and the UK, all of that stuff. Although after Brexit? <laughs> Interesting questions. Why well, it's still the European continent, for God's sakes. Uh, but so, right, now we're gonna watch um, something incredible. I really wanted to do commentary on this and hopefully quality commentary. You have a gentleman here, LMG Mob, who streams, by the way. I recommend everyone to watch him. He's such an incredible player, especially if, especially if you like Lars. I featured him in YouTube videos before when he's kicked my ass. I consider him to be one of the best Lars players in the world. He's easily the best Lars in Europe. He's just... The stuff he does with his character, it's like... It's almost like seeing Lars for the first time. You're like, oh god, he can do all of that. Uh, just an exceptional player and he's going up against po so again he's from Russia and he's going up against Y from Poland who's a very very strong Akuma player and plays very defensively with Akuma and to be honest Akuma shines the most in defense in my opinion even though his offense is just uh, batshit crazy as well best 50-50 in the game as soon as he has a bar of meter uh, and what also makes this matchup fascinating is that Lars, according to me, is still one of the absolute weakest characters in this game. He has his offense is very unsafe, it's lackluster, there's a lack of country tools, his movement is bad. There's a long list of why Lars is a weak character. Season 4 gave him the best combos in the game, arguably. I mean, he wall no one can wall travel like Lars. Any part of a stage, he launches you. If a Lars player doesn't get the wall, he made a mistake. He always gets the wall, no matter what. But he, make no mistake, one of the weakest in the game, going up against arguably, you could still call him number one, depending on how, how you argue. But uh, yes, Lars is going up against one of the absolute best characters in the game. So this is one hell of a matchup. No contest. But... Uh, this will show you how, and this is the highest level of play, and this will demonstrate very clearly why we take tier lists with a, a pinch of salt, to say the least. And you know how pretty much every top player right now just complains about balancing constantly. Constantly. And they all tier whore. They all go for a top 10 character. It's, it's like the other characters don't exist. They just look at the top 10 and they go, that one. But, uh, so that's why it's so refreshing to see character loyalists like Mob. And now, uh, yeah, uh, leave it to him to show you some magic now with Lars. So again, it's Russia versus Poland, and Y, also an exceptional player. Actually, the player I fought when I was final boss, and we played a very laggy set, and I lasered the shit out of him. So again, you, you'll see why play carefully. He's not gonna do the Akuma we see very often, run in and go for 50-50s. Uh, but uh, now he actually does. Down four into down four, blocked by mob. This is gonna be wall. Not gonna kill. Oh! Doesn't even go for the wall combo. Just lets uh, Y tech roll and then does a normal throw. And it's not broken by Y. And that makes you think he knows that Y maybe doesn't have great wall... Uh, sorry, great throw breaks? I don't see why why he would go for that. Oh god, it's so confusing that his name is Y. But I don't see why he would go for that unless he knows Y has weak throw breaks. That just felt so like... Why? Why did Y do that? Why should maybe go for a Y? <laughs> Uh, so, Mob takes the first round, and uh, Mob is actually the one who's in the, on the winner's side. Hasn't lost a single match in this highly competitive tournament, and he's playing Lars out of all characters. So, why is he in losers? But why is he in losers? It's because why took a big loss and said why? 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, goes for the timeout. What a douchebag. So, 1-1 one, one in rounds, he tie Y ties it up. Uh, so, Y is in losers. He has to reset the bracket to, to even stand a chance of winning the tournament. Huge low parry. That's going to be wall. He's going to go for the tech trap? No? Oh, Danford went too. Yeah, it just goes for the mix up, takes the round. Uh, great start by Y. Wow, so risky. Goes for the hell sweep. It's ve it's slow. It's very easy to step. Oh, nice. Yeah, just Akuma bullshit come incoming. If you're watching this and you don't know why Akuma is god tier, uh, but what he just did there, that's an unseeable low because he did down free there, right? It's an unseeable low, comes out at 15 frames, that launches, if you know what you're doing. So unseeable low launcher, that if it's blocked, it's plus 7 on block. If Akuma knows what he's doing. So this is with meter. But it's absolutely crazy. But reserved for the best Akuma players. It is hard to do. So why ran away with that match? Yeah, unseeable low launcher, plus 7 on block. It's hard to do, but uh, yeah. Is it good? Eh, it's pretty decent. But I'm sure in Season 5, Leroy's Hell Sweep will be plus 5 on block. Oh, didn't launch him. Mob has incredible defense and punishment. I would expect him to arc blast that. Akuma's 1-2 is uh, minus 17 on block, just like the Mishima 1-1-2. One, one, there we go, some nice poking there from Mob. But Y is looking good. And this is anti-Akuma 101. If you lose a match in a tournament to Akuma, you have to switch to an infinite stage. Akuma is, uh, I mean, arguably busted when you have walls. The tech traps are too good. The wall pressure is too good. Oh, no. That's going to get blocked. Yeah. He thought he had a clever rage art there, but unfortunately didn't work out. He felt very pressured. But why is going to make, uh, with his defensive style, probably makes Akuma work really well, even on an infin infinite stage. A while standing two is so Akuma's while standing two is so dumb. So dumb. His 50-50 is just so good. Oh no! Rage art? Yes. Yeah, this is gonna hurt a lot. His health is low. So what's gonna be the mix-up after a rage art? That's gonna be the decider here. Just down for. <laughs> I gotta love it. 1-1-1 one, one, one gets the counter hit. Blocks the Goo Hadouken. Nice duck there and punish. Uh, but a big while standing 2 there. This is gonna be some damage. Oh, while standing 2 counter hit 3. Demon flip mix ups. You gotta love them. Nice forward forward 1-2. Orbital is blocked. Yeah, after a while stunning too, uh, Mob is just trying to sidestep whatever uh, special uh, special attack or mix up uh, Y is gonna throw. Oh, huge whiff punish. And you're dead. Yeah, that's gonna be Raging Demon to death. Yeah, Y goes up two matches looking super strong here. Uh, Mob is looking very, very flustered. But again, uh, Mob can afford to lose this set and then collect himself. Because he is in the, on the winner side. Ops for inf- uh, Yeah, obviously ops for infinite again. And we have a preset switch. It's now Bison Lars. He's gonna need that Psycho Drive. The psycho power. 
It would be cool if Lars had a Psycho Crusher and Meter. Nice stomach went free. Oh, good low pokes. Nice duck and punish. Keeps it very safe. Doesn't even opt for a while standing one launch. Keeps it very safe. Go for it. Goes for a quicker punish. Now, nice stomach for. A lot, of, a lot of lows that round from Mob. Ooh, nice swift punish. You gotta love these uh, large shenanigans, uh, dancing around like a ballerina. Oh, huge whiff punish. And now he goes for the mob special. This is guaranteed. Does like 40, 45%. If you get that off axis knockdown from the side, uh, down one plus two is guaranteed for enormous damage. A oh, huge right launch. But this is definitely looking like Mob's match so far. Ooh, that's minus 14. Could have launched when I back one. Oh, Arc Blast is blocked. Nice punish. There we go. Yeah, anyone watching right now on YouTube, please read the chat there for some great laughs. Do it again. Do it again, please, sir. One more time, please. Oh, okay. No punish on down for free free. Yeah, the down for two keys. Down for two keys ring. Okay, LMG mob again with the life lead. Now, why can't be too patient? My god, yeah, the, we're both so defensive. Down for a knockdown. He's gonna go in. Ford, Ford, four. Wow, gets the demon flip pro. Huge wave fumble. Oh, huge orbital. Placed it really nicely there. Got, got the low crush. So he definitely needed a match. Uh, if Y had taken that, he would have reset the bracket. So it's now 2 to 1. Geometric plane. Such a clean stage. Down for knockdown. I wonder if Y is going to play more aggressively now. Now that he has the walls. Wow. Oh, great pressure by Mob. One, one, one. Yeah, that's minus 14. So Akuma can launch that without meter with back, back one. Ooh, just froze down for 2-1 just like that. Doesn't mind taking a big risk. Well, another just default throw and it works. Doesn't even command throw. Oh, big counter drops the combo. Oh, it's gonna get punished. Very nice. And goes for the hell sweep. Yeah, Mob is very unafraid right now, throwing uh, big lows. Nice block. While standing 4 4 punish. Oh, man. Yeah, the pokes are, are adding up here. <laughs> Did a. Perfect, flawless punish, actually. What? Uh, why does while stunning two into fireball? Look at the sidestep into arc blast. Perfect punish. But any time Akuma it uh, goes, is uh, glowing, you know, gold. Any time he does that, he's invincible. A lot of people think that's only on his uh, EXDP. But it goes for any time he is a golden boy. He's invincible. So the arc blast just doesn't do anything and you get launched for your troubles.
he did a perfect sidestep right arc blast. Uh, yeah, it just breaks your heart seeing it. Uh, he gets punished for playing really well. But, but I, I just want to stress yet again, uh, I feel like a lot of people don't know about it, but how dumb Akuma's 50-50 is, how powerful it is. So for the low option, you have down free, and if you have meter, again, it's an unseeable low launcher that's plus 7 on block. But again, the Akuma player has to be really good in terms of execution to get that. But it's, on paper, it's like, it, it's just absolutely insane. Uh, it's basically a launching hell sweep that's plus 7 on block. You have to be at, at clean hit range. So maybe it's more of a demo man, but it, it's just crazy. Just crazy. And he can mix that with a while standing 2. This. this while standing 2 here. But on paper, if he only does while standing 2, what is it? Is it minus 14? I know it's a little bit more than minus 12, right? But it's special cancelable. Oh, it's, it's minus 15 even. It's launch punishable. But no one ever launches it. He gets away with it because it's special cancelable. So he can do while sending 2 into Demon Flip. While sending 2 into Tatsu. While sending 2 into Fireball. That's why you always see Mob blocking while sending 2 and then sidestep right. To try and get a punish. And here it's like, oh yeah. I guessed correctly. <laughs> oh my God. It just, it makes you laugh. Mob didn't laugh though, however, according to witnesses who, who were in his apartment. They say he didn't laugh at that exchange. Big launch, unfortunately gets the sidewall splat. Uh, if he had a better angle, he, he could have killed. Well, go, uh, even uh, Y goes for the default throw there, but Akuma only has default throws. Imagine if Akuma had a throw game. <laughs> Ooh, nice counter hit. There we go. Wall combo, big juicy damage. Ooh, nice block. That's launch punishable. Goes for the rage chart. It's going to be a lot of damage. Very little scaling. Mix up. Port free is blocked, down four. If Mob gets this round, he will tie it up. Oh, demon flip. And down three. Oh well. But really well played by Mob. Two, two in rounds. Mob really needs this. Otherwise, Y gets the bracket reset. Right. God, I'm slow. Default throw is broken. Wow! <laughs> Mob probably expected the demon. Oh god, what a combo drop! They're both messing up so much. We're both choking. Oh, no punish. Damn, like four. Nice! Let's go, Mob! Tie it up 2 2. Beautiful jab float and you're dead. Beautiful. Mob so patient. And why it goes for just demon flip mix ups. God, uh, that match was so hectic. It was hard to keep up. So now we are 2-2 two, two in matches. Y needs to win this this uh, match right here to get a reset. And Mob, of course, takes the entire tournament. Europe East, EVO Online, by winning this match. So quite the climb back here by Mob. Uh, y started out so strong, took the first two matches, but... Yeah, Mob has all the momentum now. Completely even. And we're also even in health right now in the first round. Big hell sweep! Did get a float there, but unfortunately, Lars went crazy. Huge backlash! Huge backlash! 
Lars has, of course, been trained by Hoarang. No punish on the whiffed arc blast. Orbital is blocked. Oh my god, huge down free. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Ish, ish. I was hoping for a, a sidewall resplat fair. Didn't get it. So many low pokes from Mob. Yeah, counter it 1-1. One, one. Uh, that would have been a launch if he had had uh, a bar. Nice duck, down 4. Yeah, while standing 2, you just get away with it. Nice rage drive, shoulder. Ford for 2 into mix-up. That's super cool. I haven't seen that tech before. Wow, doesn't give a fuck. Just throws up for free and it works. Wow, only needs one more round, Mob, to become the king of kings. Huge counter it down back four. This is going to be wall. Nah, side splat. Shit. Gets him in the rear. Wow, so risky. Oh, drops the wall combo. Christ almighty. Should be dead. Drops the combo. That should have been dead. That should have been dead. And then 1-1-1, uh, one, 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 10 frame counter string, and you're dead. Uh, yeah, th th this is super hype. Super hype. So in the EVO uh, finals, uh, which will be played offline, right? You will have mob R Russian Lars player. I mean, just having a Lars player there is just insane. And from Europe. Uh, but huge congrats to, to Mob. Uh, he's always... Uh, I mean, I have some interest in Lars, and he's always been a huge inspiration. Uh, I think I played against him for the first time like two or three years ago, and it, it, it just immediately stood out uh, with his style and just how strong his defense is. Uh, and taking out uh, Y, playing Akuma, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite the achievement. So well, well done by both players. Congrats to Y for second place. And just, yeah, enormous congrats and hats off to, to Y. Uh, again, showing that, you know, you should take tier lists with uh, a pinch of salt. I don't know how many people will come to my stream and say, is Lars viable for tournaments or is he viable for rank battle? I don't want to play him. He's always at the bottom of tier lists. It's like, well, fo follow your heart. If you're interested in Lars, play him. If you look at tier lists and you want to decide through the tier list who you're, who you're going to spend time with in this game, it's like, uh, yeah, don't do that. I mean, look. look. Uh, so yeah, uh, incredible matches and a pleasure doing commentary on this and uh, yeah, good luck to uh, Mob in the finals. Um, it's going to be so hype.